Um, if you <laughs> if, if you were in charge of, of your college or school, which uh, what's if you're at the you know the, the what would you yeah the politician I guess the mm-hmm. leader of mm-hmm. your school or college, what policy would you uh, put in place? What would be mm-hmm. your first decision? I'd abolish uh, dress codes for girls in mm, school. That's good. I thought it was so bizarre that the dress codes were always kind of dictated by what made the male teachers comfortable and stuff. So I think I'd yeah abolish that. Let clothing be a a form of self-expression. That's a good one. I do the same. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Just fine. I'll, I'll think of something else. Um, I think, oh gosh, I think I'd address bullying. Yeah. I think I'd really try to encourage people to be kind mm-hmm. and use my platform to do that. Yeah, it's a hard thing to do that. I was, we were, I was talking mm-hmm. outside and saying when I was at school, we didn't have social media or anything like that. Yeah, oh I can't God. imagine. I it, cannot imagine what torture it is to grow up with that now. Going back to the uniform, though, there was, you know, my head teacher banned hoodies. <laughs> I, I know. Like, I think all did, schools did. Oh, you I don't did, understand you got, that. Yeah, you're younger than me, but yeah, but that I was, I was like, of all the things to ban, the hoodie, it didn't seem, it didn't seem like a kind of offensive item. The most item offensive. Of yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, we had yeah no hoodies because you couldn't really. We had uniforms though, and so people would obviously try and customize their uniform. The main thing was like the thumb holes. Yeah, we yeah, in, in all the, the jumper. jumpers. Yeah, we yeah. used to do that. Yeah. yeah, and the rolling up of the skirt. Yeah, we and making your tie hats. super short. Did oh you have that? yeah, no, we didn't have to have ties. It was just yeah, the skirt was the main offender. So if you rolled yours too short, you had to wear the skirt of shame, and it was no. like down to here. <laughs> oh and then I think it became a point of pride for some girls to consistently have to wear the skirt of shame, and people were like, huh, yeah, that's the sk- cool. The skirt of shame. Yeah, I, if there if there's ever a politi- the politician the movie I think. <laughs> the semicolon s- the, skirt of, the skirt of shame yeah. um, it's like Handmaid's Tale <laughs> yeah it's a really terrible version it's of Handmaid's dark. Tale yeah um, so you're going to be on this uh, sort of quite small streaming platform Netflix I'm sure you mm-hmm. you're, you know mm-hmm. are you binges do you go do you go deep into a show and you're just sort of you're out of contact until it's done yeah I did that with yes. all of Stranger Things Oh God! I watched that in one day. Yeah, me too. Did you? Yeah. yeah. And then I, that's not healthy. It, no, <laughs> it's not. And then have you? I mean, have you seen the recent series? I didn't see three. The no. end destroyed oh, gosh, me, me and I had to go out for dinner with people, and I just consumed mm. the whole series. Mm-hmm. It was yeah, not a healthy move. I could watch Queer Eye all day every day. I still haven't watched that. Mm, you need, have to watch it. Yeah. I need to get into that. That's great, yeah. so right? Good. I cry. I, I cry watching it. that. You could, uh, I don't tears think of I joy, could though. It's just both. It's just the way they change everybody's lives. They genuinely care about people, and it's amazing because you see a full transformation. It's amazing. Well, I think that's yeah. what people are going to feel when they see this. Fully transformed. <laughs> <laughs> a transformation for all. Thanks, yeah. guys. Thank Appreciate you so it. much. Yeah, Thank really you. Terrific.